William Douglas Street, Jr. Born in a log cabin in the backwoods of Kentucky, young Douglas soon elevated himself from field hand to tiger, from tiger to reporter, and from reporter to doctor, from doctor to co-ed, from co-ed to attorney, from attorney to congressman, from congressman to president. I could play president. I know not what I am. I am Chameleon Street. Autumn, 1978. Mary Hartman, Mary Hartman is out. Mork and Mindy are in. Platform shoes and eight-track audio tapes are out. Weddings and Walkmans are in. As for my wedding, I got the whole thing on video. You can see it later. As for the Walkman, people ask me all the time, what are okay. you listening to? Yeah. I play the classics. Vivaldi, yeah. Hendrix, Debussy, yeah, right. Sly Stone, Sex really Pistols. Like I need some money. Man, there's lots of ways to make money. You need to start taking advantage of your opportunities. The question is, do I have to deal drugs in order to make money? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Look, do you want to philosophize about this, brother? Huh? Or do you want to make some money? Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. No, let's just stay here. Relax. Let's just camp out here. Make some money. Okay. She was brimming over with the four Bs. Black, brains, beauty, basketball. The way I figured it, an interview with Paula McGee could be sold to Time Magazine for $2,000. Have you ever had an orgasm? I need more toys! There you go. New toy, Black Barbie. Anniversaries of the time to be in love. Here's to your future, my love. I remember the first moment Gabrielle realized it was not our anniversary. You don't have to go to the gym today. You just worked out. No. We? No. We? No. No. Tu ne parles pas français. I don't know if any of you sitting out there have ever cut a human being open before with two interns, three nurses, and the resident physician looking over your shoulder, but you can take my word for it. It's an unforgettable experience. And people ask me if I regret what happened. I'm sure I regret it. I've been wanting to ask you, do you actually read all those books? Yes. You know what puts the frosting on the cake? Mm -mm. I understand them. I mean, I could sit here and punch all the right buttons and make you think you're a genius for correctly analyzing this complex, exotic, notorious Negro. It amazes me that whites avidly seek after all the accoutrements of black style. You pickle your bodies in gallons of tanning lotion. You broil your pale flesh brown in the tanning spas at great expense, and all the while, maintaining such a marvelous contempt for black people. You wily Caucasians. I don't know you, and I know you don't know me. So let's agree to disagree if you want. But as far as I'm concerned, most people have maybe two or three great moments in their entire lives. So get it right. If the moment calls, give me the phone. If the moment drops by tonight, show them in. Make them comfortable. Set them up in the easy chair, give them a cup of coffee, because I am definitely into the moment. 